Deal with Canyon moving his way over. Canyon's just going to be annoying. Actually, does find the Q. Well, um, <laughs> and uh, then the dragon will get, go into the pit. That will be super awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it will then stay there for a while, uh, and and maybe we'll have someone kill it uh, in a while after that. So we've Kellen? seen. Uh, I think it was Kellen. Uh, sorry. Kingin that was the first one to do it, as it's going to come out now. Keen's going to throw it back towards Canyon, who avoids it with the heart. Teddy possibly going to get caught out here. The charm is going to miss, though, as they do back away from this Drake. Nogari is going to Arctic Assault away from this one. And we still have a lot of cooldowns left available. The Drake, once again, going to be started up here. Canyon, do you have your finger on the smite button, my friend, is the real question here. As Teddy trying to have that Zeri moment. And there is the Ornhorn. They do manage to lock it down onto Kellen, but in goes Showmaker into the back line. Also, the ulti from Kellen was fantastic as the Poppy is torn apart. Nogri frontlining beautifully as Canyon is just going to settle on this Drake and they will be able to take it down. Really nice. Frontlong just spending a little bit too much time uh, in the mid lane, which they do very much like to do. This minion wave going uh, to the nether as well as now Teddy. Going to take a lot of damage here from Doctor. I like the zoom work. Certainly made it very dramatic there, thanks to Jonah Strong, as Showmaker finds a little bit of CC there under Keen, but he's not exactly the priority target. Nogri trying to get out of there. Ornhorn is going to come through. Doesn't land the first time, but will connect the second time. As Showmaker comes on forward, Ellen not able to find the stun with the heroic charges. Nogri's doing so much tanking. The rest of Darmon trying to run down here, and look at the AoE that's already been done. Doc Dom trying to set up, but the Sand Soldiers are fantastic, and Showmaker is not getting the value that he really wants. Hostile Takeover is pretty huge as Teddy locks down a kill, but there is the kill on the Orn. And Teddy Fate so has low. to get himself out of there. Yeah, Quanok Freaks once again unable to find a team fight. Steam sure. damage is not a battle mage in this type of scenario. But as Nogari tanks this up, a few critical abilities do hit. The Orb of Deception actually brings Kwangdong low. As Watch Showmaker's turn here, it's this first Orb of Deception. Charm comes through as an Everfrost as well. And all of this extra damage from his second Orb. Look at the health bar suddenly. As Doc Tom comes over doing Ricochet, it's too much. Oh dear. Ellen possibly in trouble. Charm is going to go wide though as this Drake down very, very low. Damwon Kia. I mean, they're the ones that do have a lot of control in this situation. They have the soul point. They can give up one. They don't, they're not forced to fight for this as Nogri's going to get out of there. Elm secures the dragon and now Darmon Kia are thinking about a team fight. Dr. Arm is extremely low though. This Glacial Prism will connect onto the Poppy. Heroic Charge stuns up the Sejuani and she will go down. Dr. Arm out of the fight right now as Teddy picks up the kill onto the Piggy. Oh, and Teddy's fighting Dr. Arm here. And he was uh, cruising around. Keen just acting as bodyguard. As, yeah, maybe the true fight is with Fatigue Wolf. <laughs> as, here's the Ornhorn. Keen is going to say no to that one. Nice double knockup. Keen's just trying to do this one by himself. Hostile takeover, though. And the Orn is just massive. That was very intimidating, even for us watching. However, as, Dr. Arm's just going to take the fight against Teddy. Glacial Prism will connect onto Ellen. Great handshake is going to come through as well. Dr. Arm free hitting, and the Poppy is going to go down. Keeper's Verdict still available. After all is said and done, as Damon Kira moving towards this mountain soul, and Quan Dong Freak's gonna have to try and fight it out 4v5 Keen without ult. Zeri ult. Keen's ult just came back up. Zeri ult almost up here. He can just buy a little bit of time. That's what these Drakes are looking to do. Showmaker on another flank here, coming from the north, as Keen does have the ability to lock off that uh, that choke point if he would like to, and they do have a lot of control vision. But now, the Ornhorn's going to come through. Canyon, are you gonna be able to find the smite this time is the question. The answer is yes, as Teddy has to skate over the wall, and now Keen is left to the Wolves, or to Darmon, whichever ones you want to call them. As Teddy, yeah, he can free hit somewhat, 
but it's still another kill going over to Dr. Arm, and Darmok here have just become so much more tanky. Canyon looks for his way out, but he can just Heartbreaker try and get out of this one. Is Teddy still being frustrating? Dr. Arm's going to turn on him, though. Man, if that was a few more crits, things could have been much worse. It's not where he gets into that front line, and Teddy is going to be taken down. Now it's Canyon's turn to be a fed Zeri, but he might need to rethink it because he's down extraordinarily low. Ellen's going to turn back up into the fight, but... You see his ears trying to get control of the top wave. Your fate's doing his best to maybe then be able to wrap around for a flank. Well, Phoenix is going to... Press the on horn button, but the hostile takeover is going to be traded. And I love this from Kellen. Every time, he just presses it. Keen presses it, he presses it, and then it's going to be nullified entirely. And Darmon Kia can go back around as Teddy has to cleanse to get out of that glacial prison. Darmon Kia searching for more. Yeah, they're still short range as well, so the Civil Value is definitely going to be there. We'll be able to get those ricochets off, but not if he's standing here. Does have a decent spell shield at that point in time, and now Keen is in a whole host of trouble. He's going to have to flash get himself out of there. Dr. Arm, what this Back entire yeah. game is about. We're K-ramming hard this time, Atlas, because yeah. the, the objective control is so reliant on those waves. Did you know bottom lane minions are worth half as much as the Glacial Prison goes completely wide? And Damwon now just still wanting to get over here. There's the on horn once again. And they're looking for the Sejuani. Not sure whether I agree with that. Keeper's Verdict is going to connect onto him as well. Hostile Takeover lands only onto Keen. Here. No yeah. ability to set up for this team fight. So Teddy's got a lot of damage, but there's no setup for him. How can he actually deal the damage? Well, there's no front line. Canyon's looking for a flank here, potentially. Keen's still at half health. Noggery just Arctic Assaulting in the back line, trying to get that Steadfast Presence from Ellen. But Ellen's going to hold on to it. Wants to use it to try and protect Teddy from someone who's deadly. The Sejuani, not exactly as deadly as now we're still looking for a fight another glacial prison comes out keen's gonna get taken down this time you have to feel and he will go Doc Dom collects it and now they're on the Kwandong freak side of the map and they're just gonna push forward they're gonna run out of minions as showmaker's looking for a charm there's the flash but it doesn't connect heroic charge comes down but ellen the damage from this sivir is massive his fate i think holds for the first time this game and doesn't get enough from it as Doc Dom's gonna chase them down and i think Dom one may have just done it the charm connects and it's a triple for the Siva. Mo on the last man standing, and this will be a Dom One Kia victory. And uh, Kenyon here just doing his best to put on an extra pressure point. As there it is, we're going for the dive now as Keen. Gonna have to go golden. Will do so as Hostile Takeover doesn't get that much value this time, but Dom One Kia just use it as zoning. But if you just force a fight onto those turrets, then there's a chance for Kwangdung. Oh, the charm's gonna connect onto Fate. Orbit Deception does a fair bit of work here as the knockoff lands only onto Showmaker, but he is so safe in his positioning. There's no objective to take on the map here. We're at two minutes to Elder, two and a half minutes to Baron, so probably just need to back out. Well, Stendu Beam comes forward. Teddy's just looking for this one, does throw out the ulti. Uh, Snoggery, I mean, he doesn't take a lot of damage, you guys. Uh, he also has Arctic Assault, so he'll be fine. Uh, just getting a bit frisky towards the end of the game. Yeah, and this is uh, a Damwon Kia that has so much engage potential. Look at Elm's angle yeah. here. Not great. We're dashing in once again onto Keen, who's taking so much damage. These ricochets really doing work. As that is another kill onto Keen. Bellow's Breath going to be used by Canyon as he does manage to take him over. And now Teddy relegated to underneath his Nexus turrets as Dom One Kia bear down. They will be able to win game one. It's on red side as well, and it must feel fantastic. The three loss streak could be over. They're able to win another one in this series as well as getting away from that sixth place. They're going to try and farm some kills here as Teddy as well is just trying to show that he wanted to do things this game, Wolf, but he was just denied. And Dom One Kia will win game one. Oh, Ready, Bob. I'll just throw it down. 